This is a very serious issue. Safeguarding school funds is a public trust. Now, where's the money? Tens of thousands of dollars from a student collection fund goes missing at Intercom High School. Now, a staff member is on leave as the school investigates just what happened. Thanks for joining us on this Friday evening. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrienne Moore. CBS 13's Mark Thompson is there live with the latest on this developing story. Mark? Adrian and Tony, that staff member was placed on administrative leave back in March when that $48,000 was first discovered missing. And district officials say this is just the beginning of what could turn out to be a criminal investigation. <laughs> It was an independent audit that first caught the discrepancy, at least $48,000 missing from a student collection fund here at Indicum High School, with an additional $167,000 improperly stored in a school safe instead of deposited into a bank account. Immediately after learning of these irregularities from independent auditors, we placed an employee on administrative leave. The district not naming the staffer while they investigate if the money was stolen or if there's another explanation. This is a very serious issue. Safeguarding school funds is a Public trust. The 48,000 is missing from what's known as the Associated Student Body Account. Shame on them. And students say the funds are not easy to come by, collected from various fundraisers and activities throughout the year, such as football games and prom. The money supporting travel and other expenses for student clubs and athletics. So I feel like the money that the school does get from those should be like invested wisely and not like, you know, put in the hands of someone who's. Like gonna misuse it. It's still early, but school officials say that this could potentially lead to a much larger and perhaps criminal investigation. If misconduct is found, we will take any and all appropriate action. And district officials say that they will now review their policy when it comes to collecting and handling money. They will repay that $48,000 to that student fund while they complete the investigation. So students aren't affected by this. And now they're going to be going back years, guys, to see if any more money is missing. Back to you. We'll stay on top of what's uncovered there. All right, Mark, thanks.